friends, welcome to Shake Hungry Market Action with me, Shajna. Uh, firstly, let's have a quick look at how the global indices fared yesterday. Uh, US stocks uh, were broadly positive yesterday. Uh, this was led by industrial companies, banks, technology and material firms. All of them rallied yesterday. <coughs> uh, this was because of uh, uh, strong corporate uh, numbers that came out yesterday. Uh, with respect to Asian markets, the Asian markets are trading higher. Nikkei is about point. 9% up, Hang Seng is about 0.4% up. This was uh, on the back of uh, the positive com cues coming from the US and uh, the global markets. And uh, for today, uh, the key data to wa be washed out in US is uh, PMI, composite flash, and uh, existing home sales in the US. Uh, with respect to our market, uh, uh, the Sensex uh, ended up uh, close to 29,422, about 85 points up. This was uh, uh, this uh, the movement was uh, in a very tight range, uh, but it was uh, positive due to the uh, support that uh, the market received from the positive global cues. Among sectors, uh, reality, IT, bank, capital goods, and FMCG uh, sectors hogged the limelight yesterday. Uh, yes, bank shares were down after uh, after bad loans for the bank grew in Q4 quarter. And uh, with respect to the global uh, markets, uh, uh, the global markets were positive yesterday, and uh, Asian markets are trading higher. Uh, so we and also the SGX Nifty is trading around 15 points higher at 9175 levels. So we may see a positive start uh, on the Nifty today. With respect to the ADRs, uh, the ADRs of uh, the IT companies, Infosys, Wipro, uh, they were positive yesterday. Uh, Dr. Reddy's also was positive. Uh, HDFC Bank and ICICI were negative, of which ICICI Bank was down about 2%. With respect to the flows, uh, the FIs were negative to the tune of 168 odd crores in the cash segment, and uh, TIs were positive to the tune of 8 crores. Uh, this is provisional data. Uh, given by NSE. Now coming more to the news update, uh, Max Financial uh, is, uh, the Goldman Sachs uh, is selling a part uh, of its stake in Max Financial Services uh, to the tune of uh, 790 crores uh, through a block deal today. Uh, this was uh, released by a statement yesterday and uh, Goldman Sachs could sell close to uh, 4.86% of uh, uh, the shares out of the 9.01% it holds in the company and uh, the flow price has been fixed at uh, 607 rupees per share which is at a discount of 6.75 to the closing price of 650.95 as of yesterday. And then now coming over to the new, further news updates, uh, Tata Steel Board approves uh, raising rupees 9000 crore via debt securities and according to a report, 600 Wipro employees have been sacked after a performance appraisal. Future retail to demerge home retail uh, business and IT seeks uh, close to rupees 30,000 uh, crore penalty from Kane for non-payment of tax. And uh, air traffic grows, uh, growth slows to 18 month low as fares rise. And news related to, to Dalmia Bharat, KKR is to exit the company. It is uh, it may sell close to eight, uh, 75 lakh shares to third party investors. And uh, Wokberg in lead to buy part of Vatsa ICICI Lombard stake, which is uh, which may be more than 25 percent, and uh, which could be valued uh, close to one billion dollars. And with respect to autos. Over 200 sub dealers and sub dealers, or and some dealers of Bajaj Auto in Punjab, have uh, uh, stopped selling bikes from <coughs> April 18, seeking compensation for unsold BS3 inventory following the SC ban on BS3 units. And uh, on results update, Mind Tree uh, reported numbers that uh, the PAT came at 97.2 crores versus. Uh, 103 crores that was down about 5.7 percent on a quarter on quarter basis. Revenue was up marginally uh, about 1.8 percent on a quarter on quarter basis. Hinzing also reported numbers the profit jumped 42 percent to 
five seven crores versus two one four seven crores. And today, uh, some important numbers: HDFC Bank would report numbers uh, at three nine three two crores. Uh, these are the estimates, uh, uh, consensus estimates, and ACC also expected to report numbers uh, close to one forty eight point four crores. With respect to investment, uh, one can consider investing in the following stocks: uh, Sun Pharma, NBCC, Ashok Leyland, ILFS uh, Transportation, and Indusind in Bank. Uh, so, friends, that's it uh, from the trading uh, advisory desk. Uh, happy uh, trading and happy investing. Good morning, friends. Will you analysis on derivatives? Uh, yesterday's trading session was a mixed kind of an bag when Nifty started with a negative bias. Uh, it was much of a, on a flattish note, and thereon it did saw so some kind of an uh, uh, some kind of an resilience at 9,100. 9,100 has been acting as a good support for our market, and Nifty in yesterday's trading session have also uh, has been able to hold on 9,100 odd levels. And uh, after that, in the last one hour of trading sessions, we did saw some kind of an buying interest coming. Resuming into the market, due to which Nifty closed on a uh, on a positive note with a gain of around 0.30 percentage, uh, settling at 9162.60. On the open interest terms, we did so an unwinding of around one and a half foot percentage, that is around 2.96 lakh shares were shared in the open interest. And throughout this series, we have seen an unwinding in the open interest in the Nifty. Uh, whenever the Nifty has been coming down or uh, going up, uh, we have been seeing an unwinding. It, it it's because of uh, a majority of the market participants have been going light into the market. Uh, this signifies uh, uh, the same. Uh, on the cost of carry front was more or less same at around uh, 15 odd percentage. Uh, it reduced a bit from 15.79 to 15 odd uh, levels. Uh, while on the put call ratio, uh, we saw an increase in uh, of around 4 odd basis point from 1.07 to 1.11 and volatility index also cooled off and it cooled off significantly in yesterday's trade uh, uh, strength, uh, giving the positive uh, sign for the market uh, decreased from 12.2 percentage to 11.56 percentage of course it's been trading at a multi-year low levels on the options activity, 9200 call option which is the highest call base have seen an addition in the open interest of around 3% while 9300 and 9100 call option both have seen an unwinding of half a percentage and 13 percentage respectively while on the put side, 9100 put option have seen an addition of around 9 percentage and it's highest in terms of open interest with around 59 lakh shares into it while 9000 put option have seen a minor addition in the open interest with around two and a half odd percentage in yesterday's trade. So all in all, however, uh, we have been seeing an addition, continuous addition in 9,100 put option, and that was the main focus area for uh, for us uh, in yesterday's trading session. The last couple of trading session, in fact, and since it's been highest put base, market has not been going uh, below 9,100 odd levels, and hence 9,000 activity of 9,100 uh, 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 activity of 9,100 put option remains crucial and should be in focus for uh, the next few, few trading session also. Market level of ideas we have sent at 9154 with a lower range of our VWAP at 9154 and higher range at 9250. SDX Nifty is trading positive it's up by 18 odd points and supporting at 9178 indicating some kind of a positive opening can be expected in the morning trade. Now uh, based on the derivative parameters we have highlighted certain stocks with uh, positive and ne negative parameters. Uh, uh, positive and negative bias. Uh, the stock with positive bias are upper tire uh, current market price 241.15, Indarco current market price 187.10, and Steel Authority current market price 61 rupees 10 paisa. Uh, stock with negative bias are Oil India current market price 325, and Container Corporations current market price 1183.95. Securities in the bank period for today's trade, there are ample of securities in the bank period for today's trade that is Bharat Finance, HGIL, India Bull Real Estate, India Siemens, Infibeam, uh, IRB, Jindal Steel, Jain Irrigation, JP Associates, uh, JSW Energy, Reliance Capital, TV18 Broadcast and Ujjivan. On the FIS terms and index features, there were net sellers by 239 odd crores, index options net buyers by 323 odd crores, while stock features net sellers by 477 crores and stock options net buyers by 6 crores. Not much of activity was been observed by FIS, there was, but, uh, there was only some selling which has been seen in index futures. That's it from derivatives and uh, pre-market call. Thank you for listening.